questions, Grim readers? Because I think we're live now. I'm going to double check, make sure everything's snapped on here. All right. It is Monday, April 24th, 2023, 6 p.m. Central Time. This is my um, April 2023 live chat, just a recap of how everything's going, updates on all the things. So you can hear my husband's phone alarm <laughs> in the other room. Let's see. Um, if you're new to the gang, I'm urban fantasy writer Angela Roquet, author of the Lana Harvey Reaper Zinc series, the Blood Vice series, etc., etc. Um, let's see. I've got some notes I'm scrolling down through. Oh, um, as we've been doing every month and will continue to do, uh, there are giveaways with every one of these monthly live chats. And this one happens to have some throwback swag. Um, Kristen, or I'm sorry, I always call her Kristen. It's Christina with Ink and Shrink Swag. Does these amazing little 3D book charms that are on keychains, magnets, even earrings. I think I, I've got a pin and even some necklaces over here, but I've got the link in the video description for anyone who would like to enter the giveaway. So, oh, I see Dolores. I see Paul. Hi. All right. I'm going to scroll back down through the notes here. Let's see. Okay, there are going to be three of these swag packs. The cover art is actually from the um, 2009 edition, the original Lana cover. And I actually did this myself. <laughs> Shout out to my rusty art degree. Um, I Eventually, when I started making a livable income <laughs> with my books, I uh, commissioned Rebecca Frank with Bewitching Book Covers to redo all the Lana covers. But I did have fun uh, creating this original cover and I have had some readers ask about um, swag with that so I thought that'd be a fun thing to do for this giveaway it'll also come with um, all the usual stuff the sign postcard bookmark sticker ink pen and of course the bank of eternity coin there so and there'll be three of those and it's winner's choice of which type of charm swag you'd like so set those back over here Oh, I am missing all the comments. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Dolores. Oh, my favorite. Aw. I'm so glad you liked the originals. I, I enjoyed making them, but I, I did feel pretty big time when I was able to hire Rebecca to remake them. And my cousin Caitlin was the model for them. So so I'm I'm pretty attached to the new covers, too. But who knows? Maybe in another 10 years, we'll <laughs> do something new. Let's see. Um... So we talked about the ink and shrink swag goodies. I've got the link in the description for the King Sumo giveaway. There's another giveaway running right now for uh, tickets to the Once Upon a Book author signing in Frankenmuth, Michigan this July. I will be attending. I'm so excited. I'll be um, going back. I, I think it's been 2019, the last time I was at Once Upon a Book in Michigan. But uh, they have this giveaway going for, sorry, hopefully I didn't knock the mic off there. Um, for, I believe, 13 tickets, but it's a raffle copter giveaway. I've included the link in the description. The theme, they, they do a theme every year, and the theme this year is Friends, the sitcom Friends. So that should be interesting for the awards party. Um, I, I was kind of bummed to miss last year. They had a Monsters Ball, so I'm kind of more into the um, darker fantasy theme stuff, but I think it's going to be fun. I'm sure they're going to have a lot of exciting things planned, panels and things for the parties and the signing, but I'll have a table set up with swag. So if you're in the area or up for a road trip, um, you know, check it out, enter, enter the giveaway for the tickets and come say hi, come get some, come get some swag at my table. So let's see, let's scroll down, make sure I'm not missing comments. All right. I don't have a whole lot of, of book writing news to report. I'm still plugging along on the custom Reaper short stories and the um, Death Store, the third spinoff book. I'm hoping to have both wrapped up by the end of the month, fingers crossed. Um, let's see. I'll have a bit more time to get back on track after this coming weekend, which on Sunday, April 30th, it's the... Um, Literacy Council in my hometown, their annual tea and auction, which I've been pretty involved with for the last 10 years or so. Uh, I think I mentioned that last month too. Um, but yeah, it's six days away. So 
kind of down to the wire exciting. I'm I'm hoping to crank out a few um, of these little like zipper pouch bags. I do like some of the little sewing crafts for their craft table. Um, and I purchased a bunch of these zippers. So we'll see if I can make something work with some of the, this fabric that I've got. I cleaned out my craft closet recently, so I have a ton of fabric and I thought um, some of these smaller projects would be a good way to uh, make good use of it, get it out of the closet, and hopefully make some money for the Literacy Council. So I can't wait for my book. I know it'll be great. Oh, I'm so glad you're excited for it, Dolores. I'm I'm really, really eager to get these out in the world, especially because I've got 3D book swag for the Reaper short stories too. So, and um, and I'll be narrating for the first time, so I'm excited to get started on that. Let's see. Um, oh. I was going to say, if, if you like the craft stuff, I'll probably be sharing that on Instagram, too. So, um, Oh, the Literacy Council, they also have been setting up a table for my workshop teen authors at the tea and auction, like, uh, I think from one to two. If you're local to Missouri, if you're in, like, the Sedalia, Missouri area um, and want to come check it out, the tickets are, like, $5. It includes finger foods. There's a live auction, silent auctions. It all goes to benefit um, literacy programs around uh, Sedalia and the surrounding areas. But uh, something that I started doing shortly after joining the Literacy Council uh, was doing these teen writing workshops. They're three-day workshops with kids that are around like 12 to 18 years old. And I got my stack of books here that I'm awfully proud of. Um, I published their short stories for them in an anthology collection. There's the first eight this year being number nine. But um, it started out pretty small. You know, I had four kids publish. And then the second year, it really grew. We started adding a couple extra workshops. Once uh, COVID hit, of course, we started doing a Zoom workshop. But um, I'm awfully proud of these kids. They, they've they done a great job. It's been a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of them at the TN Auction to sign. It's our volume eight one there. But... And then the workshops this summer will be kicking off again. Year nine, it goes by so fast. But, oh, Dolores, your weather has been incredible. It's still cold here. And we had a, a couple days where it got cold. I think at nighttime it got down to freezing. So everybody was kind of worried about their plants. Like we had some bulb flowers sprouting up in the front yard that we were kind of wondering, are they going to make it? Do we need to cover them? So, but, oh, hi, Angela, you made it. You're, you're fine. You know, there's always the replay on these videos. So even if, if the timing doesn't work for you, it's always fine. And, and if you um, ever have questions you want me to answer in the videos, it's always fine to message me, email me, and, and you can even put a note in there if you'd like me to answer them in the video, and I will. So let's see. All right. Okay. I, I didn't mention this last month. It's kind of um, well, depressing, obviously, but it was a little fresher last month. Um, if you guys have been in the Grim Reader group for any length of time, you probably know Louise um, Villeneuve, I believe. I, I don't know if I pronounce her last name right. It's French, but um, she has been um, a very enthusiastic, supportive reader and a friend these last several years. She has been uh, battling cancer off and on, and she passed away uh, in the middle of, of last month. But um, if, if you, I don't know how much I've posted about uh, Lulu or our new fluffy dog edition, but uh, Luis had reached out to me, I think it was early last summer, and asked for me to immortalize her as a hellhound in the Lawniverse, so there'll be a new doggy joining the team soon, um, and when we got Lulu, our great Pyrenees, uh, her name is actually Lulu Louise, so she was partly named after Louise there too, so a real-life hellhound and, and one in the books, um, but Luis, if you had noticed her posting in the Grim Readers group, and wondered where where she's been lately that's that's what happened she lost a long battle with cancer but um she she had a great library she donated it to a local library in uh, nova scotia but she did reserve a few books for some friends and she sent me some um french graphic novels and um assigned stephen king so that was really sweet of her um so I, I wanted to at least let you guys know, those of you, if you were in the group and and only knew Luis that way, um, thought you might want, want to know that we lost a Grim Reader. Um, hopefully Lana picked her up and took her wherever she needed to be. So let's see. I'm going to scroll back down through the notes. 
Oh, speaking of Lulu, uh, we found a dog park. <laughs> if you guys uh, remember me mentioning her getting bullied by the um, Australian Shepherd the last time we went to uh, the dog park, we found a different dog park that seems to be a little less busy and she's really enjoying it. And it's uh, near a Dutch market uh, where the produce is fresher and cheaper. And so we're really enjoying that. Um, what else? What else? Oh, The Mandalorian uh, season three wrapped up, and we love that. Of course, now we're we're bumming out because <laughs> we 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 still have Jeopardy, but I think I'm probably more excited about that than my husband. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm missing people left and right. Let me scroll back. Hopefully, I, I didn't miss too much there. Hi, Monica. Let's see. So sorry to hear that. I certainly remember her. Yeah, Luis. Luis was pretty awesome. Jessica, so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I. It's it's been it's been quite the bummer, but, you know, she she knew pretty far in advance and didn't even think she was gonna make it to the end of 2022, um, so so we were definitely grateful to have her around a little longer than she expected. Even even though I know it was pretty painful for her, but, um, I'm glad she got to make all the arrangements she wanted to make and and made sure to find good homes for her fur babies. So let's see. I think there were, I had a couple things set out here, but I think I covered it all guys. I think I got the swag giveaways, the once upon a book tickets, my teen authors books, Luis, the uh, zipper bags I'm working on. <laughs> As I go back through my notes. So we're only 11 minutes in. Let's see. Plus, isn't there another one coming soon in the Star Wars universe? Um, you know, there may be. I, we actually haven't made it through Andor, but I think we've gotten everything else, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Book of Boba Fett. Um, so there's the animated ones. I don't think we've tried yet either. Um, or I think Paul's maybe caught some of like the Clone Wars. Um, but I don't know. I need to look. I need to look up. I'm trying to remember. I feel like I've read something about another Star Wars show too. But we we watch them all. We love them all. So. Oh, Paul. Hi, our Andrea. We we call Andrea Cook our, our Andrea because anytime I mentioned a different Andrea, Paul would have to ask me, are you talking about our Andrea? So, yeah. Hi, our Andrea. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go back through the links because I think I, I shared all these in the video description oh, about the, the next live chat on Monday. May 29th. I think that's Memorial Day. If you guys want a different day or if that day still works for you, feel free to let me know in the comments. We can always push it to Tuesday or do it the week before. You know, I'm, I'm pretty flexible. So let's see. Tea and auction. All that good stuff. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think I wrapped it all up rather quickly. Oh, and now Scott, I, yeah, I do remember seeing um, something about that. I don't know. Is that going to be an animated or a live action one? I'm curious, but I, I need to probably look it up and, and do more about that. I didn't know if, um, like, a, uh, it was Rosario Dawson, I think, that played her in the, um, was it Kenobi or was it, was it like the, one of the Mandalorian seasons where they featured them? They kind of got them all linked now, so. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm starting to get the error messages from Facebook. So apologies if the quality is a, a little fuzzy, guys. It's saying too low FPS. I don't know if that's our internet service, if that's a Facebook fluke. So I, I do apologize if the video quality is a little rough. But maybe I should have prepared more. I feel like I had my little script notes here that I thought were going to push us past the limit. But yeah, 15 minutes in. You should definitely watch Andor. I think we watched the first episode or two, so we'll definitely get back to that. Maybe we'll try to get another episode in tonight um, after after Jeopardy. So, <laughs> Well, I don't want to keep you guys all night if, if I don't have a whole lot else here. I, I wish I had more to share news-wise. Um, I guess I could try to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the plans coming up here. I'm going to attempt, I think, after after the customs and after the third spinoff, Lana Book, are out, I'm going to attempt to set up another Kickstarter, but just for like a couple audiobooks this time. I don't know how many of you guys are, are into audiobooks, but if you follow my YouTube channel, I am putting some of like the retail samples of the audiobooks with Holly Jackson 
uh, narrating the Lana one so far. And she did do the Blood Vice ones too, so I'll have a few of those up. Of course, the Blood Vice audiobooks are only available through Audible, Amazon, and iTunes because they're under like an exclusivity clause through Amazon for now anyway. Uh, the Lana books were, but we ended up breaking that contract, uh, Holly and I, with Audible ACX and took them wide. So they're available everywhere now, Spotify and I think I think like Google and Nook and, and anywhere I think where you get audiobooks. So video is good here. Good. Things look fine. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Jessica. It's <laughs> good to get the feedback to make sure all my equipment's working right. Um, let's see. I'm also curious, and I don't know if I mentioned last month, um, I'm curious how many of you guys are familiar with and enjoy uh, using Patreon. Like if you follow any authors or any creative uh, types over there. I follow a few people, uh, Shawnee Kilgore, who does uh, indie folk music, which I enjoy uh, a lot of her stuff. And I think that there were a couple authors. I know Corey Shrum did her podcast over there. If you're familiar with the Four Horsemen of the Book Apocalypse, um, Monica Laporta in the comments there. She's a member of our critique group too, and um, we're all kind of we we are linked with like our paranormal stuff, but we all have some different things that are pretty fun. I know Monica's been doing um, bigger things with TikTok lately, and Corey does the podcast. So, and I do believe she's set up on Patreon too. Uh, Sanderson, of course, I think that was Kickstarter that he made a big splash on, but uh, I am going to be doing something with a pen name with Patreon soon, so I'm, I am curious how many how many readers are um, over there. So, Kit Rocha uses Patreon? Oh, I love Kit Rocha. I, I met her years ago, I think at the first RT that I signed at, um, and it was kind of cool. And I say Kit Rocha because I believe it's um, a duo that writes under the one pin name, but it was just uh, one half of the team that was there signing at the table. And she had the coolest flask that had, um, I think a logo for uh, some of the characters in her series. So it was pretty neat. That was kind of one of my first experiences seeing some of the neat swag being given out at signings. And Dolores, you do too? Awesome. So I've never tried an audiobook. Maybe I should. You know, um, I read faster than I, I listen to audiobooks. I'm a speed reader, so it's a little tough. And I do know, um, I listened to a podcast recently where someone said they listened to their audiobooks at time and a half or double speed, which sounds like it would be difficult to me. But I guess if you're wanting to get through your books quickly and you're not as concerned about the, um, I don't know, I don't know what the word there is. Just like the pacing and flow that they set if you're more concerned about getting the story consumed. <laughs> but um, I've listened to a handful of audiobooks. Mostly I've, I've listened to the audiobooks that Holly's done, the narrator for Lana and Blood Vice, uh, because I like her work and she's she's narrated over 400 books. She's narrated a lot of Corey Shum's books too. So um, yeah, they're definitely worth a try. There, there are some, uh, I think Chirp is like the BookBub audiobook version of BookBub. Um, and you can get some really good deals. Uh, I know I've, I've had a couple of promos with them for like $1.99 or 99 cents for an ebook. So you can definitely start there. But but a lot of places, uh, you can at least get a retail sample to see if you're going to enjoy the narrator's voice or just the story in general. I listen to them in the car and at the gym. Nice. Yeah, it's handy. It's really handy, I think, especially since everything you can get on your phone now with apps, technology just blows my mind anymore. My husband does that with the audio speed. I can't follow the words. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I think the only time I do uh, the the sped up is if I'm watching like a YouTube video and the captions can be on, so I can read the captions if they talk too quickly. But if they're talking slowly and I'm like, especially if it's a tutorial of some sort and I'm trying to get through it quickly, I think I go up to one and a half. T times two speed is a little rough <laughs> to follow. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's about 620. Unless unless you have any questions for me. I know it wasn't as exciting this, this month with nothing new to release, but Hopefully next month I'll have all kinds of new new goodies to share. The customs, the third spinoff, and hopefully a Kickstarter. Um, it may be a little while for the Patreon. I'm kind of just feeling out the waters right now. But so 
I hope you all are having a good spring so far. And, oh, I guess I could call in Lulu if you'd like an update on, on her. It's, she turned uh, one year old three days ago. I guess on the 21st, she turned a year old. So she's still very much puppy, but she's she's a great big puppy. So um, let me double check my notes real fast. Oh, that's okay. You're about to start dinner. I think that's what I'm going to do next too. Oh, Michael, I increase speed on work training. That definitely comes in handy. I, I I really enjoyed discovering that feature for the tutorials and stuff. It's always nice to see you. No need for new stuff to announce. Oh, thanks, Monica. It's it's always nice to chat with you guys and just to catch up and let you know let you know I'm still here if I've been a little, um, you know, in my <laughs> under my rock in my little hermity world. My fur baby just turned five months old. Oh. Let's see the puppy. All right, I'm gonna go grab her. Lulu. Sandy, you wanna come back and say hi too? <laughs> so I guess sit down before I get mauled. All right, come here. Hi, do you wanna hop up here and say hi? Yeah? Hi. Hi. Oh, I know. I know. Got kicked out of the office so I could do the live chat. She's going to be a little pitiful now. I know. I still love you. It's okay, honey. It's okay. <laughs> Are you trying to sit on my lap too, Zabie? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh goodness. Thanks. All right, Lulu. Hey. Sweet. Can I, can I sit you down so I can get Zabie? You big fluff bunny. Yeah. She's a fluffy baby. I know. Do I smell funny? I had a cough drop. Is that what you smell? Okay, you ready? Here. You want to come here, baby, and say hi to Oh, yep. She's a big girl. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Savy's turn. <laughs> it's Savy's turn. Here. You want to sit down? She's going to try to climb in your lap, Savy. <laughs> Butt rubs. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> hi, honey. Hi. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go start dinner, too, and watch some Jeopardy and maybe some Andor. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in, and, and we'll uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> you got it, Sandy. <laughs> Good night. Bye. <laughs>